Burley from Joshua Passio in the red. In an outside thigh kick from the Filipino. This match brought to you by UC 1000 Lemon Water and Orange Water. Rehydrate and protect. You can see Joshua Passio has a little bit lower stance than usual. Has his hands a little bit lower. Possibly looking to defend the takedown with underhooks and sprawl a bit heavy. He's immediately starting to attack the legs of Naito because I think he saw that Alex Silva was able to exploit the leg kicks in the further with the title match that no, no, uh, Naito lost. So he's using a lot of leg kicks because he knows that this might be a weakness for Nobita. Hashio did say that Naito striking would be his undoing. And you see Naito trying to get this contest to ground. Good sprawl out there from Pascio. Throws a knee. Nicely done from the Filipino. Bounce back up to his feet. And Naito breaks off. Just got out of the way, but Bolo scooping up a cut there from Pascio. Pascio looks extremely relaxed. That was a telegraph takedown. Easy sprawl by Pascio. Naito went for a low single Sakuraba style. Good counter there from Pascio. The heavy artillery off the hands. <laughs> Would he become the fourth Team Lakai world champion? For Liang, Stuckrio, Benario. The next name be Pascio. They did actually Kevin Bellignon too. Fifth Team Lakai World Champion, so many of them. It's incredible success. Alignon, who will be against Pippi Arantinandos in Singapore in November. There is a great shot from Pascio. He scores out. Here come the right hands from the Filipino. The aggression early on from the Patrick. I think he hurt him with that body kick. You can see him wilt a little bit. Pascio went to the left hook to the body. Now he was attacking the whole body again on the ground. What a start here from Joshua Pascio. This match is starting to look a lot like their first encounter. What was the undoing of Pascio two years ago, Mitch? He made one mistake. He was in there for a takedown, and immediately you could see that Daito jumped up and sunk in that rear naked choke. One minor mistake on Pascio's part, and the night's over. But Pascio, he's now attempting to take Naito's back. He said he'd like to do the passion lock. To do that, he's going to take the pieces back. He's going to put him in a rear naked choke and then sink in the chicken wing. Look at the way he's setting up that arm. He's actually, he gave an instructional video on one championship, on OneFC.com, or the one super app for this exact move. He's controlling the underside on that arm. He's got the underhook. Now he's going to try to threaten the choke and then pull that arm back. Is he setting up the passion lock on the Eater? That would be incredible. Joshua Pascio, the 22-year-old, dominating here in the first round. Under mixed martial arts rules, our global rule set for the World Strawweight Championship. Taking his time, thinking it through here, Pascio. Where does Nobita go from here? Well, he's got to go, he's got to turn into him. He's using the cage. You might want to try to spin around, but he's got one hand controlling on that side. Now you can see him, he's trying to go chest to chest. He does a good job of that, but Pascio sprawls very heavy. Good, good defense by Pascio. Oh, Naito can't reach the legs like that. He's got to set that up a little bit more carefully. Already a lot of redding on the back of the knees of Naito, courtesy of the leg kicks from Pascio. 50 seconds remaining, first round set for five. Take down attempt here from Naito. Pascio sprawls out, tries to trap him in a choke attempt here. Naito out of trouble, looks for a head kick on the break off. Good job by Pascio. He saw that overhand right. He knew that's how Naito likes to enter the takedowns, and he sprawled very heavily. He did it again. He threw that overhand right, goes in for the entry, goes after the legs. Pascio knew it was coming, sprawled heavily, but now he's got his hips up against the cage. Now it's gonna be a little harder for him to sprawl. He's gonna try to take that single leg, but I think he's gonna run out of time. You get the feeling that Naito might like to try to drag this one to deep water. Naito has been for the fifth round four times in his career. Joshua Pascio has never been beyond three rounds. 
Good Pasha looking nice and relaxed. Ate a bit of a high kick there, but immediately answered back with a nice little hook straight hook combination. Pasha attacks the body. But I think before that, before he got hurt, he threw a nice kick to the body, and that was initially what did the damage. He lunged in there, caught him with the left hand to the body again, but then when Naito shot in for the legs, you could see Pasha continually attacking the body again. Good first round for the 22-year-old Joshua Pascio. Big hello to all of our fans watching in the Philippines cheering on Joshua Pascio on ABS CBN Sports in Action. And those in Japan on Abema TV cheering on the champion, Yoshitaka Naito, from inside the sold out Jakarta Convention Center in Indonesia. Second round. Mixed martial arts action for the strawweight championship, Ready? scheduled for five. Hasha in the red. Champion Naito in the navy blue. Ooh, beautiful time, knee right as Naito is coming in. Bingo, hit him with a right knee. Roundhouse kick to the rib cage there from Pascio. Nobito took some punishment to the legs and there goes Pascio back to that lead thigh of the champion. Wasn't a great opening round for Nobita. Tries to thread the right hand, sprawls out as Pascio. Locks onto a single leg now, does Naito. But what can he do from here, Mitch? What are the options? It's these relentless attacks from Naito. He's consistently attacking after the legs. Joshua's got to be very careful here. He's trying to suck in the, the, foot, the leg right here. So you can see him controlling the ankle, the left ankle of Pascio, which is going to try to pull that foot away from Joshua Pasho and put his butt onto the mat, just like that. Now he's gonna roll up. Joshua's still doing a good job of defending here. All tied up like a pretzel here in the second round. This is what Nabita does so well. Always thinking, always planning, always plotting. A champion, and what's going on there with the leg of Nabita? Good job by Joshua. You can see he was trying to get sucked in. Nobita was trying to pull the legs in, but Joshua's hips are so heavy he was able to control the position. Now he pushes off, back to the feet. Nobita edges forward again, the champion. Right of screen, body shot there from Pascio, going for the bread basket. Goes the head kick on Nobita. Beautifully done from the passion. Overhand right, goes for a shot. Good sprawl out again from Pascio. Nice takedown defense. Fake right hand there from Nobita. Very wide stance on the champion. Goes to the body. Sprawl out again from Pascio, doing everything right so far in defense here, Mitch. That he what is doing, because and remember, it's just like in the first exchange these two had. It was two rounds, Joshua was stopping the takedowns. Look at this, he's taking the back now. Setting up that possible passion lock again. Mitch, talk us through the passion lock again. What's the mechanics of it? What happens in the passion lock? Well, what he's doing right now, he's got the back, he's got both hooks in. He controls the underside arm with his underhook. So he has that underhook on the right side of Nobita. Now, he's gonna threaten the choke to get no, Naito thinking about the choke, but he's really aiming for that hand. Now he's got, he doesn't really quite have the wrist yet. Pascio is trying to control the wrist on the right side, but he's also trying to threaten the choke. And that's what he's gonna do, he's gonna pull the arm behind when, the, when Naito's thinking about the choke, and he's gonna try to kimura it basically into a chicken wing and crank on that shoulder. It's an extremely painful move. He was trying to take the arm completely off uh, Punk Sui Mitsati when he locked it in. He called it the rear naked chicken wing. He dubbed it the passion lock on the night. It's become one of the viral sensations online. So many thousands of fans have watched the passion lock from Joshua Pascio. And he seems to be in control again here in the second round. Nobita, the champion, maybe looking for a way back to his feet. He posts up on the right arm and Pascio keeping him down. A few people, Michael, have called it a hammer lock, but I like the passion lock much better. Right hand transitions into a takedown attempt and top position now for Pascio. This is some good stuff we're seeing from Joshua Pascio of the Philippines, Mitch. He is definitely seizing the moment here tonight. But, I mean, these are the, these, these are the small little things, these small little mistakes. At any moment, Naito can jump on your back and choke you out. 
that he does this so well. He lures people into a false sense of security, and right when you think you're you're fully, you know, you're winning the match, boom, it's over, and you're going to sleep. Butterfly hooks now from Pagio. 45 seconds remaining, second round of five of this mixed martial arts main event for the strawweight championship of the world. Japan versus the Philippines, Naito and Pasio. Inside the guard of Pasio now. Naito top position. What can he do from here? He drops an elbow across the jawline. Good work from Nobita. Goes to the body with the left hand. Naito likes to draw people into deep water and then suffocate them. And that's what he's doing right here. You know, he might have lost these first two rounds, but now we're starting to see that championship experience. You know, how many times has he been in the fourth and fifth again. round? He does his best work in that deep water. He's been to the fourth of the fifth round, I should say, four times in his career. Here's the ground and pound from the beta. A half of his strike. Pasha off his back. What a round. We go to the towels once again. That was a close second round, you know, a little bit, you know, into the, you can see Naito starting to pour it on, starting to get control of a lot of these grappling exchanges. But man, Knight, Pasio is looking sharp. His striking is on point, his takedown defense is looking real good. This kid is rising to the occasion. Okay, Mitch, let's play coach for a moment. If you're in Nobita's corner, what are you saying to the champion? I'd like to see him mix it up a little bit more. Right now, he's only throwing that overhand right to a double leg takedown. He's got to try to put a little bit more of a combination together. Throw a one, two, hook to the body, then go to the legs. He's not really setting these up very well. He can also maybe start catching some of the kicks of, pa of Pascio. Catch the kicks, drive in for the takedown. Remember, folks, under this mixed martial arts global rule set, we do not score round by round. The bout is judged in its intent by the three judges here cage side and what a side is like the sold out jakarta convention center alive in a happening third round of five in our championship main event you can see naito looks a little bit more aggressive looks a little bit more agitated beautiful popping right hand to start there from pascio sprawls out now pascio on his back trying to execute a choke here Nice little takedown there, though. Pa Joshua went down a little bit without a, much of a fight at all. But this is where Naito really starts to excel. He starts to just grind on his opponents, or over outworking his opponents on the ground, landing little shots. He controls the hips very well of his opponents, consistently sucking in their hips, controlling their movement. Top position for the champion. Yoshitaka Naito, the comic book lover from Japan. Lost the title to Alex Silva, won it back in the rematch. This, another rematch from two years ago. On that occasion, Naito the victor. Hashio believes he can sink the passion lock on the chat to take the gold back to Bagyal City. A very hard ask against the guy as good on the ground as Yoshitaka Naito. Good job of Pashiao to get out of the guard and gets now he has got these, these underhooks here. He's used, able to use them to get out of the position. Good job from Pashiao. Inside leg kick from Pashiao. Nicely done to that back leg. Orthodox stance on both men. Naito faking and fainting. Can he get the hands off here? The champion goes in for a double leg. Couldn't execute a takedown. Good defense again from Pashiao. Locks onto a single, does Naito. Look at the way he sucked in that leg, Michael. He was able to trap that leg, use his own leg to sweep it underneath and use that to get uh, Pasho onto the ground. Although Naito not always successful on his takedown attempt here, Mitch, is he the aggressor constantly going for the takedowns against Pasho? Well, we score in two ways, Michael. We score with takedown defense and we score in takedowns. So if Joshua Pasho is able to stop the takedowns, it's gonna disrupt Naito's scoring. But if Naito consistently hunts for him and he transitions, he chain wrestles, so he's going for multiple takedowns, it's gonna score as well. So they both score, but takedowns score a little bit higher than takedown defense. We are now halfway through the match, our main event here in Jakarta, wherever you're watching in 138 countries around the world. We hope you're loving every moment of this martial arts magnificent half-guard position now for Joshua Pacquiao in the red trunks of the Philippines. 
Penny lands and Brown and Brown. Where does the beat go from here? Oh, Michael, you missed it, though. But in that transition, Pasha was able to use a butterfly sweep to end up on top. So you could see Naito trying to apply pressure from the top position, and Pasha was able to utilize an underhook on the leg, sweep him up over and change the position. But that's the grappling of Naito to get back on top. You know my mistake, Mitch? I blinked. And these two guys are so damn fast on the ground. You can't even blink. You take your eyes off them for a millisecond, and they're doing something crazy. Man, let those eyes dry out. You don't want to miss any of this action, because Naito's back on top. <laughs> doing what he does best, grinding, outworking his opponents. So what does Pasha do off his back here? Pasha, he's trying to push off the hips. You know, so he's trying to keep a very active guard. He's not just keeping his guard closed, attempting you know, to hold on to Naito, waiting for a stand-up. From here, you can see him consistently push. Now he's got the butterfly hooks, and he's gonna try to trap one arm and sweep him to one side, or put the feet on the hips and push away. Obita has become a master of decision wins. He's got six of them in his career. Now Pasha would like to finish the champion, to claim the gold, to take it back to Baguio City, to inspire the uninspired in the Philippines, just like his hero, Edward Falaya and Manny Pacquiao. 40 seconds remaining, third round of five. This has been a fantastic contest on the ground. Pasha's only got two blemishes on his record, and they've come both from Japanese athletes by rear naked chokes. So that's been his Achilles heel. And you can see Naito's trying to collapse the legs. He's trying to push the legs down and pass the guard. But Pasha's really shown improvements in his guard. His ability to keep his legs in front of his opponents and keep them wrapped around his body. Naito can finish you at any moment. When he won the Shuto Strawweight title in 2014, he submitted Shinya Murafuji with just three seconds remaining in the fifth round. He can lock them on from anywhere at any time, Yoshitaka Naito. We're going to go into the fourth round of five. Now we are getting into that deep water. So you blinked, Michael, so let's take a look at it here. Look at the guard of Pasiao. He's able to control the feet on the hips, and he's looking to get one leg inside. You can see one foot underneath the leg right here. Right here, that left leg, he elevates him up, and he sweeps him over. Beautifully done butterfly sweep right there from Pasiao. Beautifully done. So we're starting to see the improvements. You know, like we talked about at the beginning of the broadcast, the improvements in the ground game of the passion. Pasio. Pasio says the loss to Naito two years ago in Nirma humbled him. He considers it a blessing, a huge learning tool. And now he finds himself in the fourth round against the champion in front of a sellout crowd in Jakarta. What a night Conquest of Heroes has been. Two more rounds remaining Back. in our main Back. event. All right, ready? Cage ready? Closes. Round four. Talk. Here we go, fourth of five. Mixed martial arts, global rule set. And Pasio comes out with the left hook. Haven't really seen Nobita get his best strikes off tonight as we did see him last time against Alex Silver in their rematch. Makes a leg kick to Snobita. Takes a leg kick from Pasio. This is uncharted water for Pasio. He's never seen a fourth round. He's never been into the championship rounds. But he's doing a good job so far of stopping this takedown and landing some significant strikes of his own. How many hours do you think they trained the sprawling of Joshua Pasio in the lead up to this one, Mitch? You know, Team Lakai has been criticized for years that the grappling game is their Achilles heel, but now we're starting to see some huge improvements from every single one of their athletes on the ground. One of the powerhouse teams in all of Asia, indeed in the martial arts world, Team Lakai. Look at the champions they boast. Edward Falayan, Jay Hayastakria, Kevin Bellignon, Honorio Benario, all have held or do hold world titles. That is amazing for the team from Baguio City in the Philippines. Can you imagine what their walls must look like? Just covered in belts. Body shot there from Naito, fall short. Body shot from Pasio, finds the uppercut. Outside leg kick. 
a shade of red on the lead thigh of Yoshitaka Nijo. In fact, it's now a kaleidoscope of colour. Taken some punishment courtesy of that back shin of Joshua Pascio. Nobita not committing to the roundhouse kick. And again, Pascio finds the mark on the lead quadricep. That leg's got to be hurting Nobita. And that leg damage will make it harder for Nobita to shoot in on Pascio. You know, he just did right there, and he's able to get that single leg. Beautifully done. Little turnaround takedown off the single leg there for Naito. Pascio's trying to hold onto the head, trying to elevate him now. But we're seeing some like superior striking from Pascio earlier. Okay, Mitch, we're almost midway through the fourth round of five. Let's play coach again. What are you telling Nobita to do right now? Nobita, he's got, got to show, he's got to show ground control. He's able to get Pascio down, so he's A, he's scoring the takedowns, but B, he's not advancing his position, and that's what shows ground control. You can see he hasn't been able to get past the guard, I might have spoke too soon as he's knifing that knee right through the guard there of Pascio, but Pascio does a beautiful job of maintaining the guard. So he's got to advance his position. He's got to do damage, he's got to show aggression by work. landing some ground and pound, and he's got to advance his position. And what would Mark and Team Lagai be telling Joshua Pascio right now with just under two minutes remaining in the penultimate round? Pascio's doing a beautiful job on the ground here. Look at him, he's attempting to go for Kimura's. He's consistently attacking. He's trying to maintain the position, but I think he really wants to get up, just like he did now, but he made a slight mistake. Good little scramble, but he is able to get back up to his feet. Beautiful stop. Naito wants to put him down again. Oh, look at the elbows on the collarbone there of Naito. And Pascio on his back again. What can the champion do from here? Top position for Yoshitaka Naito. Nice little transition from Naito, but again, he's not able to get past the guard of Pasho. Now he's into half guard, so now he's going to try to flatten out that arm. There's a possible arm triangle here on that side, but Joshua's got to, Pasho's got to keep his arm underneath, try to get underneath the head there. That's what he's doing. Good job, but while he's doing that, Naito's taking that leg out. Mitch, what do you see as the biggest threat for Joshua Pasho? At the moment, there's not a lot. You know, Naito is not doing a lot as far as um, ground and pound. You know, he's not able to advance his position, so he can't get past the guard of Pascio. But his biggest mistake, or his biggest possible mistake, is to make one minor error. And that's where Naito really starts to excel and shows that championship medal is by capitalizing on any mistake that you're going to make. Inside Pascio's guard, the failure for the trying to create some distance. Grattles punches to the side of the champion's head. Tries to control his posture. Closes up the guard now. Naruto trying to blast his way up. Trying to posture up and land the ground and pound. Ferocious stuff here from the champion. Good work from Naito. Body Once shots again. there from Naito and reverse elbows from Pascio. What a way to end this round. We're going to go into the fifth and final. It's the deepest of deep water. It's somewhere Pascio has never been before. That's the guard. And then just at the moment, look at that. He goes out the back door, right? He was about to give up mount. And Pascio was able to get up and stand back up. Good job from Pascio. Can you believe it? We are going to go into the fifth and final round of the main event here in Jakarta for the World Strawweight Championship. There's the champion, Yoshitaka Naito. Everybody here in Jakarta on the edge of their seats. We've got ourselves a sellout. And Mitch, it's all come down to this really quickly now. Once again, Pachio, what does he need to do? Pascio needs to keep this on the feet because we're starting to see the champion start to get his groove, finding the mistakes and advancing his position. Pascio needs to sprawl heavy and let those hands go. And how about the champion? What does he have to do for the next five minutes? The champion's got to get this to the ground and he's got to do damage. He's got to do significant damage to Pascio on the ground, maybe on the feet here, but he's got to do something big. And already you see a little more pepper, a little more mustard out of Yoshitaka Nayuta. There's a certain gusto about the champion now. Now, a high kick from Pascio. Nobita working angles, those awkward angles, the little quarter turns, the little pirouettes. It's the fifth round of our world title main event. Mixed martial arts global rule set in action. Outside leg kick from Pascio. 
the beater in center cage. Pashio tried to scoop the right hand. Will the goal go back to Japan? Will it go to the Philippines? Yeah, we're pretty close either way, but we're starting to see Naito definitely has a little bit more urgency behind a lot of these engagements. You know, he's starting to push forward, and Pashio's slowing down just a little bit, and just as I said that, he lands a big knee. Look at the sacrifice. What he does is he pulls guard into the half guard, and now he's able to get control of the hips. Let's see if he can reverse him. Top position here for Pashio. Could he find a sub from this position? The 22-year-old from Baguio City in the Philippines. Goes onto his back here. Top position now for Nobita. Great reversal there from Naito. He was able to get that single leg, transition out, get back on top. It's a bad spot for Pasio to be in. So what are the options for the champion here, Mitch? Well, you can probably wait a little bit. Oh, look at that, look at it. Beautifully done, minor mistake. He was trying to pass the, the half guard into mount and Pasio is able to slide out, end up on top, and get out. Nobita wants Pasio on the canvas. There he goes now. Pasio trying to sink some sort of choke attempt. Nobita looking to pass the guard, goes there. Well done from the champion. What's Nobita looking for here, Mitch? You can see Joshua is trying to get the legs around one of the legs, so he's trying to catch a leg to get back into half, and that was the battle right there, but Naito looks to be winning it right there on the right leg. Pasio's trying to get back into the half guard, but good job by Naito to nullify that. Once again, Yoshitaka Naito has been to the fifth round now five times in his career. This is very familiar territory. Pasio before fans. tonight had never been past a third round. Well, this finish. is usually where Naito is so strong, where he usually powers up, where he usually owns opponents in the fifth, the final, the championship round. Good scrambles by Pashiel, but I think he gave up the mount. He's back in half guard. Yup, he's back in half guard, but look at the way Naito is able to float around. Almost back in that side control, but good job by Pashiel to pull him back into guard to stop the advance in her position from Naito. But he hops over, now he's back into a possible side control, but a good sweep there from Pashiel. Pashiel hunting out to the left arm of Nobita. Can he find something here? The passion, the passion. Can he take home that arm? If he takes it home, he'll take home the gold as well. But no, Nobita seems to be okay. It's going to be really hard. All he can do to use this Kimura for is a sweep to control the position. Want to finish? Naito might try to roll the other way. And he does. And he gets up and continually attacks the leg. The high IQ of the champion gets him out of that predicament. And now Nobita looking to take it to ground. They go there. What does Pasio do from here, Mitch? Well, he's trying to push the guard, uh, his head away to create a little bit of space and not give up side control. Naito looks to be getting pretty close to it. Yep, now he's got side control. Good advance on the position from Naito. Pasha's gonna scramble though, try to get out. And he does. Attacks the leg. Back up on the Final minute, fifth and final round. Drops down to take the leads from under Pasio. Pasio trying to maintain his vertical base. What a thrilling, gripping final round of action. Indeed, this entire World Championship main event has been extraordinary. 40 seconds on the clock now, Mick. Look at that back and forth action from both these guys. Naito is continually trying to pass the guard, but look at Pasio able to keep the guard. Is he going to finish on top of the champion? Yes, it looks like it. What a contest between two superb martial artists at the height of their powers. My word, that was phenomenal. And look at the respect, and look at the replay. There was a little bit of a light touch on the leg kick, but Pasha was able to counter with a leg kick of his own. Add a big left hook to punctuate that exchange. 
Here's Naito continually scrambling, always looking for something, always trying to move forward. Has that ground control. Look at this, he's able to end up on top in the exchange, goes after the leg again, and I think it was able to secure the takedown there at the end of that grappling scramble. But man, what back and forth action. I have got to say, I am extremely impressed, win or lose, with Pasha's improvement in the grappling. The judges must decide. Three judges can decide. Scoring on an overall bout, not round by round. Will it be Joshua Pasha, a 22-year-old from Baguio City of the Philippines, becoming Team Lakai's fifth world champion, alongside Popeye and Benario Galignon. This team is incredible. Or does Nobita retain the title? Let's go to Dominic Cloud. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of battle, we turn now to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have scored this contest in favor of your winner by unanimous decision and new one. Yeah. 